Hello, welcome back to the Off Grid family. Today I'm going to be unboxing and testing an 18650 uh, battery spot welder. Uh, I've got lots of 18650 batteries for various reasons and for various projects. And for the last year I've been working on a spot welder to make a big power pack and various other bits and bobs. And I failed miserably. So I decided I'd bite the bullet and buy a cheap one and see if it works at all. Let's get on. Okay. So this is what arrived, and I have actually opened this. I never normally do. I leave it closed um, because I want the reactions to be as you know genuine as possible. But I placed it on my workbench and turned around to walk away, and it was glowing blue. So I was like, I better check. And basically, it was on in the packaging. I could see the blue light shining up from under here. The lights around me were off, obviously. Okay, what you get is a few bits and bobs. Some proby electrode things. And that's it. No. Nope. And then the actual spot welder and the battery. Okay, the battery is 3.7 to 4.2 volts. <laughs> that's as uh, precise as they can be. Um, and 4.5 amp hours. Okay, what it comes with is the leads as we spoke about. Um, a small charging lead. Now I might have to charge this before I even give it a go, as I say it was on in the box, so I'm not sure. A little bit of nickel strip, which is nice, but it feels a little bit more rubbery than nickel, to be honest. Got a little buzzer speaker thingamajob, which we've got to solder on in a minute. It's got a nut and bolt for the actual um, negative out. The positive goes to the positive. And then some heat shrink tubing to cover these up so you don't give yourself a shock. I'm probably going to heat shrink tube it with some I've got and then this on top if it will fit. We'll see. Maybe I'll use some of mine on top of that. Now first thing I want to do is take it off the battery. One thing I will say is this here is sharp as hell. You will literally cut yourself on it if you're not careful. So I will be making a case for this at some point. 3.8 volts. So it definitely does need a charge and I'll do that in a bit. Right, I'm just going to solder everything together and connect the wires and I'll be back. Right, I've soldered this on, the buzzer, and I've put the um, negative connection on. Let me show you where, in like the middle. Um, and I made sure that I put the actual screw at the bottom so, um, so it's not going to pierce the battery. And also, I've cut the solder off and the legs off of the buzzer as low as I possibly can. I've also taken the separator piece that was in the box and I'm going to use that to separate the battery from the board just as a safety thing because it will still um, connect because of the actual screw I'm using. Hopefully. <laughs> we'll soon find out. But first, before I do any more, I would like to um, wrap these with heat shrink tubing and um, I'm going to be using a couple of layers of different stuff. Just don't trust one layer of this, to be honest. Right. I'll let that cool down for a second, and then I'm going to put another layer on. All right, next layer of security on top of that. Now, where will I be holding? Probably, don't know. So I'll just put it in the middle. If I choose in the middle of the heat shrink tube of the other one, I'll be able to get them sort of aligned. Okay, I might just put the same size on again. Let's have a look. <laughs> I'd rather literally shove 30 of these on than hold it. You know, um, we get every piece of electronics we own virtually from China. But there's just certain things that you buy at a certain price and you think, yeah, that needs some extra extra safety. Now this was, I think, about £20, something like that. And that's with the battery and everything else and delivered, I think. I put so much on here that I can actually cut grooves for my finger holes in, make it comfortable. That's a joke, by the way. Not a funny one, but still. Okay, I think that's the last layer.
Right, let's reconstruct this, shall we? Now, I was clever enough to make a mental note that that was the positive side. So, oh, that would help if I put the paper with the cardboard, which I said I was going to put. Right. Right, I have changed my mind. I'm going to solder this one on. I'm just not happy with how much it's bending the board. Right, that was not easy to do. Um, my te The temperature on my soldering iron is at 450 degrees. Um, I'm not sure I'd recommend that to someone with a cheap soldering iron. That is it, all wired up and looking very beautiful, obviously. Now I need to test it. This is a bit I'm not looking forward to. Right. Take my test brick. I'm going to use this and another piece. So we can do a bit of practicing. Then I can practice on a few batteries. So I've got a few old 18650 batteries I kept for this very reason. Right, that's two of them. Well, I think the battery's too dead. Right, I'll put it on charge and we'll try again. Right, I went to bed last night, obviously, and it wasn't working, and I just laid there, and I suddenly thought, could it be that because I've put the cardboard in between, there's not enough um, surface area, possibly? It sounds bonkers, but I'm actually going to take the cardboard out, but before I do that, I need to just file down the places where I soldered. Okay, as crazy as that sounded, look, it was that. Don't know why. There we go. See if we can make it a bit stronger bond. Yeah, it's on there quite tight actually. Perfect. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure what the th three different settings are. I assume they're severity or like the amount of um, amps that go through it, whatever. Um, but I don't know. Uh, there is literally no documentation that came with it and none that I can find on the website either. So, no idea. Um, but it does work, uh, obviously, if you don't insulate it with a piece of cardboard, because that's just silly ideas. Um, but yeah, I'm to be honest, I'm quite happy with it. I'm going to put it in a nice little carry case so it's a bit more secure. I do not like having that type of batteries out on the side or, you know, I don't, I don't like it being able to touch other bits of metal. So, you know, you're spot welding something and you've left something on the counter and that just, you know, connects a circuit it shouldn't do because it's a very quick way to destroy something like that. So anyway, um, in the next episode or whenever, whenever I get a chance, I'm going to 3D print a box, well, design and 3D print a box. And um, that way we can, you know, have it a bit more secure and carry it around with us. Uh, if you're interested in that, like and subscribe and then I'll, you know, I'll show it at the end of another video. I won't make an entire video about it, I don't think, unless I come up with something special. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.